I don't know about you, but most of us don't like paying tolls, but that most likely will change in the near future if you drive on I-95 North. Tonight, the Maryland Transit Authority held a hearing at Perry Hall High School to help decide the rates for an extension that is currently under construction. WMER 2 News' Ashley McDowell was there for the meeting. Ashley? Kelly, it's the first of three hearings, a meeting meant to hear what the public thinks about the extension of I-95 northbound express toll lanes and the 695 ramps, also on how much it will cost to take it. But only a handful of people showed up who all stated they were there to get more information on the project rather than give their own input. Members of the MDTA board lined the front of the room at Perry Hall High School, ready to hear concerns or comments from the public. But when it came time to take the mic, no one stepped up. Only a few seats were filled, one of them by Vijay Maharaja, who says he thinks this expansion will benefit those who take I-95 North during busy parts of the day. It's a great thing they're doing it, and I hope they, they extend more and more because that will be a good, good idea to do it for people who wants to get stuck in the traffic. This is the good way they pay and they get, get it over with. The current express lane starts at the 895 and 95 split and runs to White Marsh. This new addition will provide 12 miles to that, extending from Maryland 43 to Route 24 in Hartford County. The construction is actually already well underway on this program. We have 14 contracts that are completed already, five more that are in construction, and the remaining segments are under design and on schedule for our openings. Giving easier access to those looking to bypass traffic or get through the interstate faster, but for a price. Pine says the current proposal is to set the same rate as the already existing segment of the express toll lanes which also factors in how much one pays based on the type of vehicle and what kind of easy pass plan the driver has. The existing toll segment that's open today has peak hour periods when it's higher congestion. The tolls are set a little higher to try to manage the congestion, but also off peak and weekend periods that are set at a lower rate and then overnight rates. He says currently as many as 44,000 vehicles use the express lane on a busy day, and this expansion will bring many benefits. So folks can experience better travel times from the program. We're doing a lot of environmental improvements, noise wall Im improvements through the program replacing bridges that are 50 years old and older. The MDTA board will accept public comment until April 13th, with the final board approval of the toll price scheduled for June. The next public comment will be virtual on March 2nd and can be found on MDTA's website. The third meeting will be held March 6th at Joppatown High School. Kelly.